Do you feel like games nowadays aren't as fun as they used to be? Do you feel sometimes like you've already played a game that just came out? Welcome to the club, you're not alone. One of the reasons behind it is because game companies keep doing the same thing over and over and they're playing it safe. No one wants to risk and invest millions in something completely new which would seem like an experiment. Back in the day, I don't know if I just enjoyed games more because I was younger or probably because of the lack of game choices compared to what we have now. One of the biggest reasons is definitely the fact that people had much lower expectations and everyone were happy when something new is coming out, whether it's your game type or not. Around 2012 and 2013, games became more appealing visually and that's about the time when some of them started trying new things about the time when Xbox 360 and PS3 were released. We are used to beautiful graphics in games and whenever a game gets released and it doesn't look that pretty, you're automatically annoyed. You've already played something else that looks stunning and you aren't running RTX 3080 for this Minecraft Battle Royale looking game that wants you to buy the new legendary skin for 30 bucks. I'm just kidding, you can't buy a GPU. The Last of Us still has absolutely the best story there is and I'm an Xbox guy. And no, I am not a fanboy. Plague Tale is also an exceptional story game and I usually play multiplayer games because I like the experience with real people, but lately I feel like a good single player story game is worth the time because of how boring multiplayer games have become lately. Yesterday I found out there is a new battle royale game coming called Super People. What in the world is that? Fortnite and PUBG had a baby or what? Someone please explain. Rogue company secret twin? What's going on? Stop making useless played games already. Although, I don't like Fortnite because of the building part, there's not gonna be a better third person cartoonish game. Game developers nowadays like to play it safe, usually making either free games which feel like we've already played before, with battle passes and tons of microtransactions, or pretty similar games to something that was rated as one of the best games few years ago and people already forgot about it? I get it, they don't wanna lose millions in trying new things, but in the same time, you can't expect your game to be successful if it's based on something that's already been released 100 times. One of the biggest issues is the fact that game developers do not listen to their communities. I don't spend much time reading players' comments and thoughts on certain games, but for example I've seen many many times people want a new Splinter Cell game from Ubisoft and Ubisoft keep coming with some game ideas when no one asks for them. Just do what people ask you to do. Ubisoft is gonna release a game called The Division Heartland and guess what? It's gonna be a free to play battle royale survival game with lots of microtransactions probably. It doesn't sound bad on paper and I am a huge Division 2 fan honestly, only on the PvE part though, but why wouldn't you make a new Splinter Cell game when thousands of people ask to do it, yet you come up with something no one asked, I don't get it. Ubisoft could have listened to the community and fixed Division 2 PvP issues and make it like a survival matchmaking mode without releasing a whole new game for no reason. People have already played New York and Washington, so make a new apocalypse looking map in another big city only for PvP survival mode and call it a day, it's much easier. The only modern good looking battle royale right now in my eyes is Apex Legends. People love it and I like how balanced it is. No pay to win, it's all about skills and how good you are. I'm not a fan of the maps they released after World's Edge, but that's just my taste. It's almost 2022 and if you think about it really, most games don't have satisfying graphics for the system requirements they need. I swear I've seen better graphics on games released 3 or 4 years ago and they didn't require that powerful PC. When you're waiting for a new release, you're automatically expecting the game to look stunning and you should because it's 2022. Forza Horizon 5 is a great game in terms of graphics but it's lacking any kind of creativity it's literally Forza Horizon 4 on a new map. On top of that, the game had a terrible glitch which lasted a month before they fixed it. Have you ever heard of the free to play game called Warframe? I'm gaming on Series X on a 4K LG TV and I don't know how to describe how good looking that game is 
and I cannot imagine how it looks on a very high-end PC. Meanwhile, there are games from AAA companies that look absolutely terrible. People are overhyped and they have huge expectations towards new games and Back 4 Blood was definitely one of them. I don't think the game is bad in any way, I also don't know what more or what else they were expecting to see. The game is a spiritual successor to Left 4 Dead and I don't see what else could you expect to happen. It feels like people are imagining in their minds how the game is gonna be based on comments and a trailer that's not the actual gameplay and when they start the game and compare their imagination to the reality, they are left disappointed. I don't play Call of Duty and I apologize for not being a diehard fan, but can you tell me why Warzone became a cheap budget vanguard copy? Sometimes I'm staring at my TV wondering which game to start that I'll play for more than one hour. I watched Game Awards yesterday and I saw some very interesting games that are coming and I hope they won't feel the same as what we have right now. These random battle royale shooters have to stop because they won't change anything. How many games have you played with an amazing story like The Last of Us or Plague Tale? How many co-op games have you played like It Takes Two or A Way Out? They might be not perfect, but at least it's a new experience, something new. I can talk for days about what a mess gaming is right now, but most of us already know it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.